You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Oh boy, black and white sports fans, we need to revisit the ESPN high school scandal. Now, a few days ago, we had put up a video talking about how Bishop Sycamore basically scammed his way into getting on ESPN national television by lying to a marketing firm to actually get on a schedule. And ESPN was very desperate to get an opponent for IMG Academy, who is a upper tier football school. OK, now Bishop Sycamore has only been around for one year and apparently the head coach lied his way all to the top. And this scandal is pretty bad here. It doesn't look good for ESPN because ESPN seems to be very desperate just to get any type of opponent and not do their due diligence on who they put on TV. And now, guys, Bishop Sycamore now has now fired their head coach, Roy Johnson. And guys, it is really, really bad. And also the opponents of Bishop Sycamore have now canceled games. So we're going to be diving into that, too. But as you can see here on the New York Post, Bishop Sycamore fires coach after bizarre fallout from ESPN blowout. And this team lost 58 to nothing. 58 to nothing, folks. Now, the coach said that they actually had Division I uh, recruits on that team. That doesn't seem to be the case. And Bishop, Bishop Sycamore lost to the same school last season, their first season, 50, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's something like 53 to six or something like that. They actually scored some points, but not in this game. It says here, Bishop Sycamore, the unknown Ohio-based online charter school that talked its way into a nationally televised football drubbing Sunday on ESPN, has fired head coach Roy Johnson. Bishop Sycamore was crushed by national powerhouse IMG Academy 58 to nothing on Sunday just two days after suffering a 19-7 loss to Stowe Rots High School of Pennsylvania. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine, or DeWine announced Tuesday that he has requested the Department of Education to open an investigation into the legitimacy of Bishop Sycamore. The school's director, Andre Peterson, citing pending fraud char charges against Johnson and the team's injury tracking procedures, as part of a lot of things that resulted in the firing. Quote, I value him as a person, but I just thought right now he needed to step down. He needed to go, Peterson told USA Today. We just decided to mutually part ways. Now, according to Outkick, Johnson faces an active bench warrant since July the 2nd of out of uh, Delaware, Ohio, for failure to appear in a domestic violence case that later was dropped to a criminal uh, mischief charge. A judge also ruled Friday that Johnson and another defendant will go to trial for defaulting on a $100,000 loan issued by First Merchants Bank in April 2018. And that is Roy, Roy Johnson right there. He has now been fired. And man, hit the legal issues with this guy is a mile long. I don't know what's going to happen with him, but we know one thing. He's not the coach of Bishop Sycamore anymore. And let's go on here. He says, uh, during Sunday's broadcast, ESPN announcers claim Bishop Sycamore led them to believe his roster contained multiple Division I prospects, which quickly proved to be untrue during his game against IMG. It turns out that the school also is not listed on the Ohio Athletic Association's Directory of Schools, but reportedly is part of the Texas Christian Athletic League. Quote, you look at IMG and this is the most talented prep team in the country. ESPN announcer Anish Shroff said during the second quarter of Sunday's game. Bishop Sycamore told us they had a number of Div Division One prospects on their roster. And to be frank, a lot of that we could not verify. That is on ESPN right right there for not doing their due dil diligence. OK, now it gets worse here. Also. Bishop Sycamore 
still has football games to play. But however, they have run into a scheduling debacle now. Over here on Fox News, Bishop Sycamore loses four football opponents amid controversy. This is a disaster for them. Bishop Sycamore lost four high school football opponents on Tuesday following the debacle from its appearance against one of the top programs in the nation. The Matha, Catholic, Duncanville, Liberty, and Johnson Central all decided to cancel games against Bishop Sycamore. According to Matt's Preps, Bishop Sycamore had a schedule filled with top-tier programs across the U.S., but after losing to IMG Academy 58 to nothing and the revelation the school duped a marketing agency to be put into a national television slot, the handful of teams had have reconsidered playing the school. Wow. Quote, we had we have been doing a lot of researching and after discussing it with our coaching staff, we decided to cancel that game with Bishop Sycamore because they have ineligible players and it would be a liability issue. We think this is the right decision. That is the Matha Carolina president, Father James R. Day. He told USA Today that. So, guys, what do you think of this? What do you guys think of Bishop Sycamore? I believe this is just the beginning. This thing seems to be growing day by day. Uh, Roy Johnson fired. This guy can actually be facing uh, prison time for a whole bunch of different things here. I mean, this is just unbelievable, man. And ESPN does not look good in this whatsoever. They should have did their due diligence on this. This school had only started playing football last season and they only won five games. And she, you see, this is what happened, man, happens when you get greedy. When you get greedy, ESPN just being lackadaisical, not doing their research or anything. And they just go out there, get a marketing firm. Hey, find a team, find a team. And this team finds uh, Bishop Sycamore, or I should say the uh, the marketing firm finds Bishop Sycamore. And the head coach just lies. He lies. And nobody seems to question him about this. And Bishop Sycamore gets on TV and gets embarrassed. Bad look for ESPN. Bad look for Bishop Sycamore. Bad look for high school football in general, especially, you know, when you're talking about the upper echelon uh, schools like ING Academy. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Roy Johnson fired from Bishop Sycamore, probably looking at jail time for many different things. And also Bishop Sycamore has now lost four opponents on their schedule. This is is a disaster. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.